Inner voice. What is the inner voice? How do we know if the inner voice hasn't taken over us and stopped us from living the life that we want and deserve? How many times have we put something on hold or not done something because we stopped ourselves? Hi, my name is Gabriel Company and welcome to the Gabriel Company Show. For most of us that may not know, the inner voice is an internal monologue, also known as self-taught, inner speech, or in a discussion. Our inner voice is crucial, part of who we are, why we do what we do. It is our sense of self and self-worth. It helps us with planning, problem solving, self-image, self-communication and our emotions. The reason why many of us uh, experience this kind of critical dialogue it's based on the beliefs that we have about ourselves from an early age. The people we surround ourselves with create the habits and beliefs that we have today. But the question is, how do we overcome the inner voice? How do we focus on achieving what we want? First, we analyze the habits that we have. This part is very important because of analyzing allows us to be aware of our actions. How do we do this? Well, what is the first thing you do when you wake up? What is the first thing you do when you get home? How many movies, TV shows do you watch per day or per week? Once you know this, you want to break up the habits into two separate sections then add a negative and a positive sign to them and find which benefits you more or which that don't. Number two, change your critical self-talk. So let's say I'm powerful, I'm strong. But then one minute later, you're sitting on the couch and you're doing like nothing. The inner voice told you just to sit on the couch, like you don't care, you just want to relax. Now right now, the inner voice is telling you just, just do that, don't do anything else. Whatever you just said, you didn't mean it, you didn't feel it. Now if this keeps going on, the inner voice is always going to be up here and it's always going to win. And you'll always be listening to the inner voice. But we need to change this. In order to change this, you need to speak louder, louder than the inner voice. Right now, the inner voice is here, and you're here. So if you don't speak louder, then the inner voice is winning. But if you speak louder, and louder, and louder, and louder, right there, you're winning. You're beating the inner voice. And this is how you overcome the inner voice. Speak louder, ladies and gentlemen. Number three, meditation. When you wanna do meditation, you want to find a place where no one can disturb you and where you can feel calm and peaceful. And also, you want to put on calming music when doing meditation. If your inner voice comes from a deeper emotional connection, find someone that can help you step by step to overcome it. Nothing good ever comes from holding it within. Thank you for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Boom.